Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us at the Rakuten booth. And next up, ladies and gents, we're going to be treated to one of the standout sessions of this week. We'll be hearing from Sharad Srivastava, the co-CEO of Rakuten Mobile and president of Rakuten Symphony. Sharad brings the benefit of wearing both hats. He has both played a crucial role in deploying Rakuten Mobile's network in Japan and is now exporting that expertise and technology as president of Rakuten Symphony. Please give him a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to take you through our journey from 2018, and we are now in 2024, mainly focused on uh, Rakuten Mobile. And then we have a session later on, which will focus on Rakuten Symphony. So the theme for uh, this MWC is Telecom Reinvented. And what we are doing in last, what we have done in last five years, and what is our plan going forward. Right from 2018, we started with the disciplined uh, industry. We started with the uh, virtualization, containerization back in 2018 and uh, took the challenge of uh, ORAN. So 2020, 2022, phase one in Japan, we have um, you know three major cities, Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, and that's where we started rolling out. The rest of the nation was on um, in collaboration with KDDI on roaming. So we focused on till 22 on rollout and then 22-3 uh, was uh, lean and solid management. We focused on operational efficiency, um, of course, you know, remaining uh, 5G rollout. And now 2024, um, in last 20, quarter of 23, we added about a million subscribers and the uh, aim for this year is on focuses on customer acquisition and increasing the ARPU. When I talk about the network landscape, all these are you know coming from different vendors, but across this headnet network, we use single software from Rakuten Symphony, and this is the biggest headnet network I would say. Dozens of suppliers, be it small cell, um, indoor small cells, or outdoor small cells, plus macro, 4G, 5G. Across, we use single software and single SON software. In terms of 4G, today we have more than 65,000 sites, outdoor base stations, um, and 5G we have 13,000 uh, base stations, including uh, sub-6 and millimeter wave. We started with the Edge, um, you know, when we started the building the network, we use in Japan something called Edge data centers, and we have almost more than 5,000 uh, data centers where we deploy our Edge or the DU software. Then comes the regional uh, data centers where we do caching plus uh, you know applications like UPF and other things. And of course the entire core sits in uh, four central CDCs. Entire, all these thousands of uh, data centers use single cloud and that's what you know um, we didn't go for hybrid, we have single, we tried to minimize the SQs and single cloud. That brings in a lot of uh, operational efficiencies. Today we have 99.9% uh, .9 of population coverage in Japan. So almost done with the 4G rollout. Now this year we are focusing on 5G rollout. In terms of uh, RAN software availability, because this is key from Symphony perspective and also from uh, Rakuten Mobile, we are at four nines in terms of software availability. We declared last quarter, we are around uh, 6.1 million subscribers. Our target for this year is between eight to 10 million subscribers. This is, uh, you know, when the product was not ready and uh, we had high churn, especially initially when we launched, we were offering free services. The churn rate was very high. And now we have achieved around 1.4% Generate, which is at least one of the least in industry. And considering this is a, a mostly a postpaid subscribers. Th this is good, big news. Uh, considering that we are just few years old, still uh, building the network, but globally, globally we have been awarded um, as global winner for two categories by OpenSignal. 
वन इज गेमिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड द सेकेंड इज वॉइस एस वॉइस एप एक्सपीरियंस एंड द बिग थिंग इज इवन दो वी हैव ऑनली ट्वेंटी मेगा हर्ड्स इन वन पॉइंट सेवन ऑन फोर जी साइड बट वी वॉन द लीडर अवार्ड फॉर अपलोड स्पीड एंड वी वॉन हाई परफॉर्मर एंड द बेस्ट इम्प्रूव नेटवर्क फॉर ट्वेंटी I level as you see on the left side um, global winner globally uh, we lead on games experience and voice app and upload speed we are number 3 so what's next what is okay now the network is proven product is ready we are focusing on customer acquisition but in terms of uh, innovation what, what are we doing so we partnered with ast um, few years back and uh, we have other partners also who invested into ast and now we are trialing out uh, satellite these the, these leo sats how to bring nationwide coverage uh, japan is huge you know not huge as us or india but uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, unreachable areas even then we want to cover with ast so this was successful call done from hawaii second is we got 700 megahertz uh, in last year so we are rolling out our 700 megahertz uh, platinum man is what it is called in japan um, building the 700 megahertz uh, starting this year so this will um, of course in rural areas will be using but uh, as you know tokyo is very dense and deep so it will help us uh, go in base bands and other areas automation and ai we right from the start we were focused on automation and ai we built a lot of products uh, which we are trying to export using symphony but within uh, rakuten mobile and rakuten as a group we have very much focused approach on how we are going to use ai our target for this year the first and foremost is uh, on saving energy uh, not just on the ran side or not just on the core side or server side but also on ran how can we use ai to reduce power consumption then uh, this is already implemented customer sentiment analysis and we use drones to do site audits so instead of sending manpower we use drones and using ai we see if there is any fault or anything has changed from the commissioning that's it from uh, my side thank you